Hello everyone, it's Jamie at Hen and Chick Studio. The studio of four is behind me and we're bringing you Take Home Tuesday today. Now every once in a while I get to have a special guest. If you've tuned in before, sometimes my niece has come to help me or my nephew or every once in a while Goldie in Virginia I can talk him into it. But for some reason, they don't seem to want to help me out very much. But guess who I have today? I get a very special guest that sometimes doesn't always get to play with something creative. So... My special guest is going to come on in. Well, hi, Jamie. Well, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm very good. It's yeah. so fun to be ready to play. Yeah. I'm excited to be a guest on Take Home Tuesday. It is. Babe. I know. I kind of said Golden Virginia loud to see if they would say anything, but they didn't. They are helping us in the store this afternoon. But thanks so that we can play. Yeah, so that we can play and be creative. So Somebody has to run the store. But that is true. And we trust them, and they're awesome at it, so we let them do it so we can have some fun. So you know that we're about all things creative, and, and you know, oh. you're so creative and you have so many different endeavors as you are um with scrapbooking it's all about i think sometimes it offers you just that what do i say that break the mental a release yeah. it's different it it makes it, it lets you stop thinking about what you're doing and try something different oh all those yeah, things and, and i think that's one of the things that not only with quilting but everything anything creative yes. and we, we both endeavor in different things sometimes maybe not as much as we would like to at times, but trying different things. So that with our take on Tuesdays, that is our whole goal, really. That's right. Just to bring something fun. That's right. Because again, sometimes we need something that's more instantaneous. Yes. And that's a lot of the projects that you're working on yep. here on Take Home Tuesday are not projects that are going to take weeks or months mm -hmm. or even hours, um, but just brings a little fun to the fun to the table. Yep. So. And so today, what we're going to do is we're going back to some good old painting, but we're going to put a little twist on it of kind of more abstract, right? Yes. Um, sometimes florals are fun or sayings and stuff, but we have a couple of different ideas. And if you can put a dot of paint and pull a piece of, or pull a squeegee, squeegee, that's all you have to be able to do. So I'm going to start with mine first, and then we're going to transition to Heidi's because we had, of course, Two multiple different. ideas. Yes. Um, so we're going to go. So my first thing I'm going to do, you may have kind of seen it out there, um, doesn't matter. Is and I'm going to just check and make sure okay, that we're still ahead. seeing everything okay. Is literally, I'm just going to put dots all over my canvas of different colors, different things. And you're going to kind of see as we get going here. And you know, I don't even know, as you see, if you can see any of the paints that I have. Oh, that one's not even open. We'll see what we got. Some of them are probably empty. Should have shaken them up. Shake, shake, shake ahead of time, but that's okay. Oops, some dry paint there. So See, it was time paint? to get into your paints. I guess it was. Actually, they've been at Jenna's, so I haven't even had my paints for a while. So I'm just putting dots all over my canvas of different colors at different levels and different heights of it. I think that was a lot. You know, I think it was really interesting, Jamie, when you were describing um, the the... Um, the kind of projects you were wanting and stuff, you were actually referencing them as people. Yeah. And there is a, um, there are artists out there that use techniques like this to create abstract people. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was fascinating. I did, it wasn't that that was the only thing I saw when I saw some of those pieces, but it certainly was an interesting um, twist on it. Twist on mm -hmm. it. And interesting to think how other people see things and look at things. And so I think that is. But mm -hmm. you are so correct that, like, at this point in the game, you might think that you were five. Yeah. And just putting That's paint. blobs of paint um, out on a piece of canvas. And Which so you, kind of what I'm doing, yeah. actually. So you're working with a canvas that is, oh, but is it 8 by 10 oh, probably? Oh, yeah, it's not even that very, very yeah, big at all. Yeah, just a nice little 8 yeah. by 10 canvas. And Heidi, while I'm doing this, why don't you show your canvas? Okay. Because she's so, had, yeah. working with so, a much larger uh, one. You know, of course, I, I took that idea and thought, oh, I, you know, she had different ideas that she was showing. So I had a bigger canvas, and so I'll stand back here and show you. And one of the ideas um, was using tape. And we've done something like that before here at Hen and Chick Studio yep. with a kid's project. And I always think it's interesting. So the idea is that the tape will be removed um, when we're done with the, with the paint part of it. So I'm going to kind of do the same technique that Jamie did, um, is doing, but mm -hmm. I'm going to do it on a bigger surface. And have the tape, so we'll go right over the tape, bring the paint right over the tape, and we'll see. Mm -hmm. And I just, it happens to be that I had this fun measuring tape, tape. Um, <laughs> but, of course, blue painter's tape 
um, will be great. So that, again, easy for you to remove. Yep. And so I'm not, and I would probably spend more time being a little bit more coordinated with some of this. And so I just randomly, actually, maybe I wouldn't because, you know, we talk about that in, in piecing and stuff. Sometimes the randomness of things. I already have a purple. I don't want another purple. This is purple. I don't even see what color it is. But so I'm just putting some daubs on here. Oh, this one has a little metallic in it. And what you're going to see is then I'm going to take my, and this could be very abstract. I'm staying away from the top on mine. Uh, to leave a little white space up here, but of course you wouldn't have to. You could go all the way to the top and make it. I wanted to put a little of this because it's bronze, just to see. How Ooh. Do. Just to put some dots on it. So we'll see how it turns out. It may or may not look the best, but you know, if you don't like it, you can always paint over the top of it. I have to tell you, I did get some new paints last Ooh, week. You did. And there was bronze, copper, and gold in it. And the other night I was playing with that. Um, I had Fun. found some pre-cut labels and tags and things and was just having a little fun with a few of my stencils. It's always, it is fun and I, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with them or how I'm going to continue, but um, it's so often, like I even wonder, just because of the way I like to do things, will what we're doing become a base for, something for me to do mm -hmm. something else? Mm -hmm. And so, um, yep. so that, that'll be part of the process, okay, right? Okay, so now I'm going to take a little piece of just to make sure we don't get our paint everywhere. Ah. And then I'm going to just come back with my, uh, just a squeegee, and we're going to see if this works. I'm going to start at the top. And okay, and I'm going to, hang on a second, hang on a minute, hang on. Okay. Let's make sure, let's, I'm going to tip the camera just a little bit here, we'll see if and we're going to see what happens. Yep. Go for it. Push okay. down, there you go. Give it a little pressure. Oh, cool. Keep going. Cool, cool. See on the other side, Heidi. What's that? We should see it on the other side. Is it pretty funky on the other side? Look how cool that looks. Oh, awesome. And now I'm going to scrape it off. So I can see like my gold the maybe combat. didn't, um, it was a little thicker. So it gives oh, a little but Jamie. Of fresh air. And I don't know if you can kind of see like, I don't know, just kind of fun. Can, it doesn't have to be anything. But yeah. I mean, I'm going to come up just a little bit closer here and see if I'm trying not to make everybody dizzy and sick. But oh. That is so fun. Yeah, oh, I love it. A little simple. And you could come back when it dries and we could write something on it. Now, in this case, as I look at it now, again, I could change some colors. I could go with some more all natural colors where I put <gasps> the red in. could be something different. In a, in a way, in a, in a small way, it could be visually people. Yep. Like all in a blob together. Yep. But the same thing is, this is, it was really cool on the other side. Oh yeah. Look at that. Mixing together. And wouldn't that be funky? I could come back with that. With like a you could even come back over. Swirl it. Yeah. And you could, well, you could even do it on that side yeah. over top. Yeah. I mean, yo, yeah, fascinating. Like, what happens if I just do that at the bottom a little bit? Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. Come back in and create a base. Texture to it. That's kind of fun. Okay. Oh, I love it. So that is one idea with just blobs in a, Squeegee. Squeegee. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to move my mess here. No, you're good. You're good. I'm starting to go through the table. I should have put oh, two, it's all right. two of them down. You but... know, we get, we get, should I get another, here is I this go. a wet one? I'll reach yep. over. Mm -hmm. I'll just try to, just so we, it's all good. That's it. As I cover the camera up. <laughs> See, look, there's the back of my canvas. All right, we got it. We got it. We're good. Okay. I'm going to make room for my little my little canvas in here <laughs> all right and we're gonna do you'll have to help me a little jamie yeah. so that that we can get um Getting some paints on there and i am not worried about the uh particular paint color, color scheme color scheme or just but i do think there was one of the th the ideas that you were looking at where the dots were a little um a little smaller maybe yeah. um you know like like yeah. uh and if we could, let's see colors. if we, I'm going to, here, I'll do some down here. Yeah, you do some. So we can, we'll play and try um, different things. And so what Heidi is wanting to do, like with this one is she, because of the tape, where the tape is, becomes the negative space, right? Is that what Correct. It's called? Yes. Yeah. The, yes. The tape is the negative space. Well, let's, let's see about this one. Let's play a little with that. So she could drag over the top of her tape and then start. We, we have no idea how, this is like combining like three ideas. That's so right. I don't really know how this is going to be. And didn't you, have, didn't you have some black? Yes. I wonder if we should put some black in Metallic. Ooh, go for it. Or go for it. We're feeling easy. spicy. Feeling a little spicy there. And. 
I'm going to make lines on this side and see what that does. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Let's shake it up just a little more there. See if I find any. Yeah, we, and we didn't shake pre-shake our paints. That's so, right. You know. That's, you know, part of the fun. A little purple in there, too. Oh, this is kind of fun. So, anybody else having fun watching us or have a different say. Out, We'd love to hear the different things that you can that maybe you've done before that, you know, we're always open to new ideas of being creative. I think that's a lot of it, Heidi. You know, people see us on here a lot with obviously sewing projects and things like that when we're working with the store stuff. But there are so many other ways you can be oh, creative. Oh, absolutely. You know, I love to do photography and scrapbooking. And, um, you know, there's, there's just... So many different things. You're probably better with plants than I am. Oh, wait, yep. You know, that's a whole other <laughs> sense of creativity. Agree. We will agree on that. Yes. I um, need some other colors out of here. Yes, right? you do. Now you grab. I'm grabbing this. Um, and so, like, what are some other ways that maybe some pe some of our people are creative? You know, it can be even with cooking. It doesn't have to oh. be. Uh, uh, it could be calligraphy. It could be sketching. That's right. There's all sorts of different things. So, yeah, we there. know our customer, Lori is always cooking something up. Mm -hmm. She's always doing something fun when it comes to cooking. So I yeah, there's... Be, oh, I think I got the same color twice here. Oh, that's all right. Let's see. What's your master plan here? You, uh, you know, know what? I, I think this is going to be the foundation for something. Okay. Because I, you know me, I love to doodle. Um, that's something that I like to do. And... Um, so I have a feeling that I will come back over, come back over and use this as a foundation. Um, I sort of can envision already okay. that the white space is going to be used for words. Okay. Because I love quotes. That would be another thing that I love. And um, so I can see myself thinking that I could put some kind of a quote in there or words that are important to me. Um, and then be able to, um, so this is also I'll a good say, way to test what paint you're almost out of. I was going to say, I was say, you got a couple here that you could yeah, probably, you could probably stand to, uh, get yes, I'm trying to find it. I was going to try to find blue. Maybe this one will work. So look, I'm just taking this one. Oh, oh yeah. Well, maybe, and maybe, you know what? I should do that. Don't know what it'll be. So Heidi, when you do this, do you think you're going to do each one or are you going to try to mix them together? When we do the squeegee mm -hmm. part, oh, I think we should swirl it. Swirl it. I, I think, think we should I put think... some actual white in it, maybe too. Then Let's okay. See how that plays. Oh, with I the think I, yeah, I'm I'm open to, and especially in this one because I got some primary colors going on there. Okay. Let's see what we got going here. See if we can get anything. Yeah, now you're like really being. Yeah, I know. Whoops! I just got way too much and... up there. That's all right, but you know what? That's well, it's a good color. It's not it a state color. color. I know, actually, that's what I was kind of thinking. So. Maybe a little purple over here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's see from yeah, yeah. Don't don't, see don't put your look at Heidi's just. Well, think there. about now, and let's think about how much paint with your squeegee you I'm actually not. ended up with. Yeah, not very much. or stayed on. No, a lot of it. Came so, out. so do you think we have? I think we probably have enough, enough to play with. Yeah, don't you? I think so. Okay. I think we should. I'm going to come back through here, though, and make sure okay. all your teeth is as tight as possible. Tight as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now these lines may not be, whoops. Oh, if they're not exact. Not really exact or perfect, like I can see the green's already going under there. That's all right. But it's giving you that negative oh, space it'll or something different. And now, you really had to put a lot of pressure on that. So do we need to do this as a team effort? Like, I hold the canvas. How about and you, you squeegee? I squeegee? Because it's your idea of the squeegee. But okay. we didn't get any up here in this corner. Uh oh. So I'm yeah, gonna don't get your shirt on there. Do a dot. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna just set this down because yep. I'm feeling the need to probably like get my elbow grease in there. <laughs> right? And then get some white with that one. See what happens. Okay. Because I have no idea what's going to happen. Because obviously the squeegee's not wide enough to, to do, do the whole thing yep. uh, at once. So we're gonna have to do it in more than. And we might have needed more um, paper towels, but that's. Well, okay. you know what? We can get okay. those. We're okay. We're okay. All right, we should have put, we, we need paint shirts. Oh, we did need paint shirts. That would have been a smart thing to do. That okay. would have been a smart thing. Let's okay. tear these off. So, we are going to, um. Where are you starting? I'm going to start up there. I feel like the yellow corner. Okay. Okay, so are you just going to, you're going to hold, and, and you just put pressure down and drag, right? That's what I did, yep. 
and I probably didn't have to put quite as much pressure as I did. You might be able to do less pressure, Heidi. <laughs> Except then what look what happened. When I did less pressure, I lost my Oh at the center. Mm-hmm. Oops. Okay. You got that? Yep, I'll follow you. We might get something <laughs> on the floor here. Oh, this floor has survived 135 years. It can survive Heidi and Jamie painting. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. ooh. You might need to um <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going now. You switch your hands, Heidi. I don't know. <laughs> I can I go off? Should I go off? Well, it's going to go on the table right oh, That's now. all right. That's all right. Table. Okay, it's on the table. Okay, it's on the table. <laughs> okay, now, do we need to clean? Do, do, that's, right. my, that's my one I caught you. That's right. Okay, we're going to do it this way. We're going to do <laughs> <laughs> you, This is live, live TV. You can't get any more live than that. No. Nope. So I, I feel like, like there's slowly. some thickness. I know. I kind of like it. Because you can always some... come back up and add. Go back up and get that corner up there. and do, something do you, But do you think I should go on that side and drag by chance, drag it that way? Try it. Okay, here's so, the thing. Hold if you on. don't like it, Heidi, you can always go back and paint over the That's top. That's right. I can, certainly can. And I'm going to see if anybody's laughing at us yet. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think anybody. Oh, well, maybe. Uh, <sighs> maybe so. Yes. Okay. So here we go. I'm. Well, what do you think? Do you think I should start there? Go for it. Okay. Again, I'm going to go. I'm going to start, start there. And so I think one of the things that you're, we're learning as we do this, and, and even if we try some of these things before, can I yeah. keep going for you? So yeah. I don't have to like. Oh, I, I kind of been liking that. I got to, I got to put the camera down here so everybody can see. Oops. What I'm doing because it's a little hard at that angle, so I'm just going to put it down there. I might have to start there again. Okay, so let's. But where where we put the globs ends up being a little bit stronger of a dot, but then it's starting to kind of blend together as we go. Yep. So I'm going to stop. Okay. I think we should stop. Yep. Oh my gosh, very interesting. Okay, I'm going to put that down there for a second. So if you can lift it up, I will. This so, would be really cool. Oh, I think this is going to be very interesting when we remove the tape. Do you think we should risk removing the tape yet or wait till it dries? How about, dries? Wait, is there one that's just really small, like here in the center? Can I just do one yeah. that's small? Oh, yeah. Pull Since it. I already got my hands. Oh, yeah. Pull painted. it up. Pull it up. So then you can start to see what the... Oh, yeah. And it kind of stuck. Snuck in there. We didn't use true painter's tape, so right. That's but okay. that's but that's okay. And I think it's going to be an interesting, absolutely an interesting look. Oh, and Carolyn is not laughing, and Minerva thinks it's Picasso at work. Oh, I'm um, pretty sure it is. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. So, all right. Okay. So let me, let me get the camera here so it doesn't fall down on everybody. So today we're more, I would say, a bit more abstracty. And a lot of times what we are, but it's giving yourself the freedom just to do something. Oh, yeah. And I can totally see once this dries, I'm going to get my black marker yep. out, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be doing some doodling, <laughs> some serious doodling on top. Well, and I think you could even, Heidi, like even where these lines are perfect, it's right. fine. But if you used a painter's tape or something, we couldn't find it. I mean, it's giving you creative opportunities. Yes. You could come back in. I don't know if they could see the paint that I don't know if they can table. or not. Let me let you hold that, and I'll go back But you could here. always take some... You could take a different texture and texture in the whites or stuff like yes. that. Here's how so, so just saying to any um, any grandma that might want to do this with the grandkids, <laughs> this is not something to do on the dining room table. Yeah, probably not. And Dorothy thinks it looks very Eastery. So yes, oh, yes, yes. But you could also see Heidi if we would have just picked like say five colors. Yes. Like if your living room was burgundy, yellow, brown, yep. and gray. And kind of just started to, swirl. and she wouldn't have had to swirl. She could have just gone straight down, like yep. straight down. Like I pull, I pulled straight down on mine, and then we yep. went back in on the bottom and added. Yep. So just something kind of fun. And I love it, um, uh, Angelina. Thank you that you think um, she thinks that we should auction these off for a good cause. <laughs> and so who knows? But that's that is a lovely, lovely idea. Um, absolutely. Yeah. So thank you for yeah. inviting me. I, I'm glad you could come today, Heidi. And I, I'm going to wrap up with Heidi's off camera camera here but hopefully as always we hope we inspire you to do something who cares what it looks like you know what at the end of the day 
it's a piece of canvas and some paint and it's therapy and getting messy and dirty sometimes is what you need to do just to get your brain free from the clutter that comes in some days again if she didn't like it guess what you could paint all black and start all over and do something different there's always a creative opportunity out there for you so as always we hope you at least find something to inspire you to make you smile and hopefully go out and help you be creative until next time have a great day